Happy Monday. I have your reading of the week for the week of May 20th, 2024. Um, as of today, the sun is officially in the sign of Gemini. So happy Gemini season. Also this week, Jupiter moves into Gemini, but before that we have a full moon and we have Venus and Jupiter meeting up for a nice little conjunction. So let's see, ooh, let's see what cards are showing themselves to us today. Um, oh, there's another one. I love it when they just fall out. If you're new to me, my name is Sarah. I'm an empowerment coach and shadow work guide, and I use tools like tarot to facilitate emotional healing. The way that I think about tarot is that it shows us what our intuition already knows, but maybe that we don't want to see or that we need to see in a clearer way that's easier to understand. Um, and rather than using tarot as like a way of fortune telling, I use it much more as a way to reflect and maybe consider some deeper things that we need to know. So we have a lot of cards today. I am going to try to get them all into one frame. That may or may not happen, but the deck gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Seven. So that is interesting. I've never had seven cards in a weekly reading before. Um, and I am actually feeling really called to interpret these as one for each day of the week. So let's take a look at what we have. Yeah, they're not all fitting. Uh, they're pretty much fitting in here. All right, so first uh, we have the death card upright starting off with a bang then we have eight of air ace of fire ten of air reversed sovereignty of air reversed balance and the ten of earth reversed so let's take a look number one monday today we have the death card um I think a question to ask yourself today is what do you need to let go of so that you can facilitate transformation? My partner Dan and I did a podcast on this recently about how transformation is really the continual art of transformation, the continual process of transformation is just a series of losses over time. And I had heard um, elsewhere and I really love this, and Dan and I expounded on this in our podcast, that change is bringing something new in. But transformation is letting go of the old to make space for the new. And so as we transition today into Gemini season, um, what is it that we are needing to release to make room for the new? to facilitate that transformation. Um, the eight of air is interesting. Um, Tuesday energy, the 21st. I think it's interesting here that we have a full moon. What I'm seeing from this is I'm seeing some creativity. I am seeing some kind of mastery and a sense of like a juggling in a way that things might feel like a little bit much. Um, things might feel like they're a little bit much and I would, I would use this as a time to kind of reassess and see what needs to be released with this full moon. That's coming up. I think on Wednesday, the Ace of Fire is going to really light a spark for you that gives you a much clearer sense of direction on where you want to go so that on, um, on the, what is it, 20, 21, 22, 23, on Thursday, we have the Ten of Air reversed and 
I think there are some things that are going to be hard to let go of, um, but that really need to be released on this full moon because what's happening is you're feeling inundated. You're feeling overcrowded. Things are feeling like too much. And unless you consciously release something, it's going to continue to feel like too much. And it may be hard to immediately see. I think this is reversed because it's hard to see which, which of these things hanging over your head needs to be gotten rid of. But it needs to be gotten rid of. The day after that, you're going to be feeling... I think a bit, we have the sovereignty of air reversed. Um, I think you're going to be feeling a bit tender. I think you're going to be second guessing yourself a little bit. I think that you're going to be wondering if you're releasing the right things, if you made the right decision. But ultimately for Saturday, consider the balance that you want to have. Notice maybe since you released those things, how the balance is starting to even out. Um, and really let that idea of balance be your guiding principle in what you choose to hold on to and what you continue to release. Um, and then I'm seeing with the Ten of Earth reversed, kind of this full celebration of abundance. And it's reversed, I don't think it means that it's not happening or that the abundance isn't coming. I think what it means is that you need to let that be enough. Like, you know, it's great when these like little opportunities come in, when these little means of abundance and health and thriving show up but because they're little we kind of wave them off and be like okay that's cool but what about the next thing what about what's next and i think that this is really calling you to stop and to truly celebrate what is here now and what like what you already have and celebrate those little things that come in for you because what you focus on grows, right? We've all heard that saying, what we focus on grows. And so if you are focusing on celebrating what you have, what you have is going to grow. If you focus on it not being enough, the idea of not being enough will grow. So um, again, today, consider what you need to release. Um, what what you need to make room for in this transformation process and what has to go in order to make room for it. Um, the Eight of Air tomorrow is going to help you reassess that. Um, the Ace of Fire is going to bring a new spark, is going to really give you the headlamp on which direction you want to go so that you can release the direction you don't want to go. And then it may be a little bit cloudy, right? On the day of the full moon, the Ten of Air, um, you're going to feel a little inundated. But really be in your power. Really allow yourself to be in your power. Allow yourself to trust yourself. And ultimately work towards finding balance. Release that which is keeping you out of balance. And celebrate what's already here. Celebrate what you already have. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to schedule your own private reading, you can do that by clicking the link in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, and I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. I will see you next week.